on ESPN Plus. Switching, they're going to switch a lot, one through five. When that happens, they're going to double John Taylor and Miner. Well, they can both beat you. By the nightcap is underway. Morris State controls the tip. Have had outstanding seasons. Riley Minix, the transfer from the NIA school players in the league in Lathan and Minix. Starting lineups are presented by Serve Pro, the official restoration services partner. Taylor against Minix. Now Taylor with a back away three. No good. There's Lathan. Now Fellwell with a long shot shot. And the rebound to Latham. Minix with the quick pass in the corner up and good. Taylor, Latham will come out and guard him. Now Taylor again with the penetration, leaves it for. Here's Minix. What a great pass. We'll talk more about some of the players he's developed over time. Minix is shot all the way around the rim. That shifts to man in certain actions and offense. And, and we'll talk about that more as the game goes on. From all I'm telling you, seven bodies on the floor at different times then will come the other way. Latham will attempt the three. Good. First team all conference player. Minor just inside the line. Comes a game and he's six foot. He's tough. He's, he can stay in the game. Three point good. Hulk has it stolen by Minix. Now Minix continues to dribble. He'll throw it up the glass. I will get it right. My apologies. There's White. Not quite the uh, pace of the game that we expected. Minix, a step away. In the corner, the three ball. Long rebounding as this. Trying to badge it coming into this one. But Richard Patino, you may have heard of him in the Commonwealth. <laughs> Wow. Here's Wright with a turnaround. Morehead State not much better. They're only two of their last ten. Well, Here's Minix. That might change. You have a player of the year. You look at Eddie Ricks out there. He's playing the three for him. He's, he's they have the experience from the ball handling standpoint to be able to upset a power five team. There's the three. No good. But the follow is. AUE was up. They, they made a run. Team. I'm not. I'm, I'm not nervous. I know these guys can get the job done. That's a great feeling to have as a coach. Minix for three. A Taylor, you can see the frustration then trying to find a pocket to go down. And there, Miner, good. Here's Minix. He'll throw it off the glass. Good. When your three man is six foot eight and athletic, at this level, you can cause a lot of problems. Right with a step away, no good, and no luck. Culture and the consistency of winning, he's not. Moorhead State fans, I know you don't want to hear this, but appreciate the man why he's. I'm going to read you some other numbers here. Is Minix. Here's Thelwell, front of the rim, and there's Minix to clean it up. They, they really have a family environment. They, they stick together, and that's how you stay consistent over the years. And while we're talking, Ryan Odom, who's Dave Odom's son, who's at Virginia Commonwealth, who replaced on the University of Kentucky staff. Freeman, Elwell trying to go low to Minix, nothing there. On the penetration, quickly to the back. That's one of the better, pretty hefty. Considering SIUE's only been able to put up 12 in 17 minutes. And I'll get this one to. Morton State gets into their offense right away. And up and. Left Ray Sean Taylor open. That's good for three. And started all 30 games coming into the tournament. SIUE going back to their zone. Latham. And gloom. They just got to get some shots to fall. 
and they'll be right back in this game. Morehead State makes it a habit of keeping opponents under 60. There are two games combined. So Morehead State back on the attack. We're talking about attacking the in the half or kind of crucial for SIUE. Polk trying to create with a dribble. And again, talk about last game. You adjust. You know that you're not going to get that call. No reason to complain. Play through it and do the same thing with another. Late. I think so. Says the guy with banners hung into place. Right. <laughs> 2054? I'm not sure, yeah. I was before YouTube. Oh, but it's still there on YouTube, I promise. Oh, wow. Time and plenty of chances for the dribbles. Preston this Spratt is where I was about right now. They'll well. High off the glass and good. Point. The Wright brothers have one point combined between them. Rajon Taylor has seven, but that's why Ter that's why Terrence Thompson has seven as well. Window here for SIUE. Wright will work against Minix, and he'll get 15 points a game. So he's fully capable of putting points on the board, and they're going to need him to. Minix with a bomb. Good. There's another three. This one too long. Minix in traffic. Good. NAIA, but guys got skills. Yeah, there, there's a lot of good basketball players out there. Great, are good enough and do transfer into D1 and have impact like Minix. He'll finish his degree soon. It has to be more aggressive. He absolutely has to. Even if he misses, he has to try to be more aggressive and get to the basket. Yeah, Ten days ago. Oh, and by the way, that's to go along with those double-figure scoring. But Thelwell had reached and tapped it out of bounds, but instead it goes have not communicated well on the up screen or on the ball screen. And Morehead State has gotten two wide open layups or two wide open shots. Uh, this Taylor. is the level of energy they need to be playing with. You can see a substantial difference. Minix with a long ball. That went all the way down for Morehead State. Ricks back in. And SIUE gets a turnover. Rayshon Taylor, short. The follow to the first half. Here's the long three ball in the corner. That goes. Lathan zips it in the corner. Khalil Thomas, good. SIUE, interestingly enough, has only taken nine attempts from three point land. They've landed three of them. Right shot. This guy touched the ball. There's Lathan. Thomas. In the corner, Eddie Ricks will. And Morehead State back on the attack after the foul. Been under the minor. They'll triple him along the baseline. Desmond Polk for three. Good. In the corner. And bringing it high with 10 to shoot. Thelwell will walk. I may have mentioned this in the first. All the pieces are there. Thomas. Lathan. Back to Thomas in the corner. This time for three. Eight to shoot for SIUE. Now Polk off the dribble. One step to his right. To stretch the court. And then you can play Eddie Ricks or another big. I mean, they have their roles. You have, you have, you have all the role. guys out there who everybody wants to go one-on-one. -on -one. I don't care how talented you are, it doesn't work. Ricks, the first on a team like this. He doesn't have to do too much. He's a freshman. He's got great players and great leadership around you. Strong move there. Mason, get an opportunity there. Here's Thomas, kind of tapped out. Thelwell at the timer. Here's Miner to right. At 19 was against Alice Lloyd. And he had actually. Oh my! <laughs> Forget the Fellwell story about assists when you look at a move <laughs> like that from Minix. Here's Ray Sean Taylor. Wide. And he got it and left the game with eight minutes left. Foul on the fair in terms of recruiting because. You can go get a guy like that who's played four years. Marcus in developing it. As we see right hit the free. They may be poached by someone else. 
it, it, it's a problem because he still believes in, in recruiting a freshman. He loves the development side. Some coaches are just hiring just great recruiters. They don't even need, wow. You, you know, you don't need development guys as much anymore because you're recruiting guys who are already developed out of the portal. He's going to be with Marty Simmons. And he's got some players to replace, as do all of these teams. Here's, and the lead is 17. Now Fellwell with the numbers off the glass and 60 or more. And here's Taylor's jumper. Left it short again so far tonight from the line. Better than 80%. Or more had stayed into. And so we've asked all the coaches this. How about that play? Nichols in the first half of the first game tonight. And Miner gets it the far SIUE going forward. And he handled the governors quite easily that night. Here's Lathan. Put it off the glass. More importantly, Lathan has his Lathan and Wright with a collision. And Lamar with the left hand up. And he's got it. Martin. And Morehead split this season. Coach thinks that he can put you in the game in the middle, like in the heat of it. So when you come in, you're really looking to execute the scout ball, doing every, still talking on defense. That's how you earn minutes. And I'm there for Preston Spradlin, Scott Combs and group throws. And he hits both. Game with 57 seconds to go. If I had to guess, I'm sure everything. And so that doesn't mean that we're going to play 40 minutes in the middle of the 40 minutes the, the right way. And I respect that. Speaking of right, his shot short. I suspect that'll be the last foul. I think they want to get Miner up out of there. And SIUE will play to the horn. Three-point shot by Kwani Rudd. How about that? Sitting on the bench for 39 and a half minutes and coming in and draining it. And talk about this game as he speaks to Rayshawn Taylor. And the Wright brothers as well.